Hello, uh, I'm Sunghun Lee from ICU. Today we are gonna uh, talk about uh, R and R Studio and really from the basic, basic, basic things. So uh, when you Google, uh, you can see uh, R Studio or you can Google R Studio and then you, uh, one of the first link will lead you to R Studio. Uh, R Studio is not uh, enough to run R. So you need to have something called R and uh, you can simply type R in the Google search bar and then you will get R, which says the R project for statistical computing. So once you go to R Studio, uh, you click the link, R Studio open source and professional software for data analysis. And then uh, you will find this website. So there are lots of things uh, that you can find here and you can scroll down, but what is important is uh, you go to uh, the products tab. And then once you go to the products tab, uh, you can go to the R Studio, which is the first one under the open source. So we go to the R Studio and now we have nice blue links. And here you have R Studio Desktop and click that left link. So now we have the R Studio desktop and then uh, for the R Studio desktop, you can uh, download it. So you can choose it. And then once you go to R Studio desktop, uh, there are multiple options. And uh, the one that we want to download is the free version, the open source license version. And we will download the R Studio, and it will actually uh, tell you that you need to install R first and then download the R Studio, and it will automatically actually put you to whatever uh, OS system that you have on your computer. If not, uh, down here, uh, you can find all the installers uh, based on your operating system. So before downloading R Studio, then uh, R Studio says like install R. So let's go to R. So here's R, and you click R project for statistical computing. And now uh, we have R project, uh, and there are lots of information here too. So if you're not so sure where to go, so simply go to download R. So. It's, active, it's an activated link. So you just click download R and then you will get this CRAN mirrors. And basically what these mirrors are is like, all the links lead to the same exact uh, site or same looking site uh, in different countries. So just find the place where you live. And in Japan, there are two uh, mirror sites. So you can, we are in Tokyo. So we're gonna click the Institute of Statistical Mathematics or mirror sites offered there. So here, uh, when you go there in any link, you basically see this uh, screen after that. So then here there's download R for Linux, download R for Mac OS and download R for Windows. So you choose your operating system. And in my case, I have Mac OS. Then there are lots of other things <laughs> that appears here. Usually the most recent version, the latest release that's notarized and signed appear here uh, where I circle right now. And uh, currently at, as of today, it's May 11th, 2021, R4.0.5 is the notarized and signed latest release version. So you can click and then it will download it and once you download it, uh, you can uh, install it onto your computer as any other, uh, what you do with any other programs. So after that, after you install it, you go and install all the R, then you go to R Studio, and then we're gonna download the R Studio desktop. And again, you click, it's rather heavy. It's about 153 megabytes. R was a little bit less and then you download it onto your computer and then you install it as you do with any other programs. So anybody who wants to use R and R Studio, uh, first uh, you need to install R and then you uh, need to uh, download and install R Studio. 
However, uh, what I noticed, the reason why I made this video is when you go to the website of R Studio and R, it seems like there are lots of different options and sometimes people are not so sure what to do or what to download and this video was created in order to explain that. Thank you.